wellness in general is one of those things that somehow always gets moved to the back burner. And I think by keeping it on the front burner, we're able to all of us be better. We knew that the pathway to reach our students and move them forward from an academic deficit was through wellness. No one community school is the same. Our needs here in Brooklyn Center Community Schools are great. We feel it's our obligation to make sure that we're uh, setting young people up to be successful, and so we're doing that through partnerships. I think the world of education has forever existed on an ever-increasing scarcity of resources, right? We're constantly asked to do more with less. You are aware that we're a full-service community school. You're aware that if you're a teacher, you may have a classroom during the day, but after school or the weekend, it could be a dance class. At the heart of that is the development of the whole child and making sure that we're equipping our students with the knowledge, life skills, and global perspectives to contribute to society and respond to the needs of an ever-changing world. I think ultimately you can't do any of that unless you have the mindset and wellness and health ability to be able to move forward with that. There's still a number of barriers and disparities that do exist in the Brooklyn Center area and the country in general. However, here at Brooklyn Center Community Schools, our foundation has been uh, set to respond to those needs. We have about 83% of our students in the building receiving free or reduced meals, 87% students of color, we have 14% English language learners, and somewhere between 18 and 19% students receiving special services. I think one of the most unique things about this school is the uh, wraparound services that they're able to provide for the students. Uh, for instance, I know that in-house there is a clinic and students are able to take advantage of that. Our partnership with Blue Cross Blue Shield has really been focused on the different entry points into wellness. How can we incorporate opportunities for movement into our classrooms? The state doesn't require PE every year, but we really try to focus in on that being a priority for our students because it is really um, the foundation of, of their wellness. We have a number of partners that are really responded to the needs of health and wellness. One thing we started this year was a share card. Um, it's an opportunity for kids to be able to recycle their um, fresh fruits that they didn't consume at lunchtime. Um, one of our FIA teachers takes the cart and at the end of the day we recycle among all the student athletes and they're loving it. Uh, another uh, area where a farm educator has come into our classrooms and uh, really introducing our kids to local produce and where does your food come from so that's been great. It's my responsibility as a leader to go out and identify those partnerships that can um, provide a number of uh, resources so that young people can be successful. The administration is very supportive. Uh, anything that I've asked Dr. Jarva for or to be able to do, um, she has been extremely supportive, giving me the green light, so to speak. So I think that's been the most meaningful thing for me, is really walking the talk and making sure that I am the best version of myself so that I can encourage that in other people here. I'm just excited to be a part of something like this where um, there's no narrow focus, um, there's no one size fits all, and we're just creative as much as possible and a lot of times innovative and really responding to the needs of young people. It's about the, the betterment of your students so that they're sharper from a cognitive standpoint and healthier from a, just an overall wellness standpoint.